Alright, we descend for the next puzzle. We've got one fragment of five. Uh, in past episodes, some of the puzzles have contained more than one. Hmm. Oh, some lag there. I... Oh, lag. Not sure why. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I'm expecting some mobs here. Alright, let's... Oh, that's bread. Whoops, whoops. Okay, there we go. Just limiting their access to me. I don't have any more coal. But I could make some. And box has been kind enough... Hey, what is under here? Kind enough to say that we could break anything we want, which I really appreciate that. Is that trapped? If it was, it wasn't very effective trapping. Oh. There we go. Let's make some charcoal while we take a look at this. Shredded map two of two. <gasps> Oh, I think I know what this means. This is back from the beginning. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man, what if that skeleton would have picked it up? Protection to boots of an unknown vizier. Hmm. Oh, where did he go? Is he trying to path another way around? That's weird. Let's just make a couple of these and we'll come back before we get too far. Sucker. Where did he spawn from? Possibly this darkness. Possibly around here. I don't actually know why I'm really lighting this up. There might not be any real reason to do so. But I am curious. I'm really curious. Ah. That's why. Gotcha. Gotcha, box. Okay, let's see. Is there anything in here? Oh, actually, let's look down here first. Nope. We'll look up here. Uh. Oh. Let's stop. There we go. No. There's a glowstone in those two spots. See, I'm thinking like a CTM player here. That may be my issue. Oh. Oh, there's some nice torches. This is the tomb of the vizier, maybe? Hmm. Okay, I guess I go back up now to the other side. I'll take you, and I guess I could have just done that. We'll make some more of these. We have seven coal, so we'll make eight sticks. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we just go all the way back out now. All right, that was an uneventful return. Oh, we're not back at the main room just yet. Here we go. So there was an object in the first room that had one of two plus two of two. And I'm quite sure that it meant insert items. Hmm. Maybe I can't quite insert them yet, but I guess I'm going this way. So I wonder if there's only two puzzles. And then whatever that map leads to as a third. Okay, I guess we're going to do a lighting run. I was about to say I don't even know if I'm going to bother going through this whole room because it seems like these are just here for a little bit of fighting to mix up the puzzling. And then I saw a chest and I decided to do it anyway. Oh, 
this whole hallway. Ah, oh, you blazes. Blazes are notoriously not bothered by light. In fact, they like light. So we'll maybe have to find that spawner. We'll see. What are in these hallways off here? Are these rooms? Mobs. I wasn't quite ready for you to come through there yet. Okay. Eat. Did I bring any meats? These breads are taking too long. Now I wasted. It's fine. More bread. Box loves his bread. Let it be said that Box loves his bread. Whoops. Come on. Okay. Uh, do I want to open all of these? Oh, I really don't. I really don't. But I'm going to. I'm going to anyway, aren't I? I'm not going to open every single one. I'm going to open one half of them. Mm, that was close. I don't know if there's a chest under any of them. If I get to the end of this row and there's no chests, then forget it. Alright, there's no chests. Underneath them. So he doesn't hide chests the way that they would in a CTM. He just kind of has them out in the open. Now, from a symmetry perspective, there should be a door... This is where I came in. There's a door there. There's a door there. So there should be a door over here. Right here. Nope. See, a CTM map maker might have put silverfish in there or in all these pillars. It's a good thing we're not dealing with one of those bastards. <laughs> I don't know why I just said it that way. Uh, and I don't really know why I'm repairing this bow. Yeah. So, hmm, there it is. There we go. That's just going to protect us on the way back. I believe I have everything I need to make potions now. Saw that. Hmm, three hits. Oh, hiding behind a pillar, are you? I saw a blaze. There it is. There we go. What's over here? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 52 torches, though. that. Let's check this room. Safe enough. I really liked in episode two the banners puzzle. Just for the fact that there were banners. And I'm a big fan of different banners. I was going to say, I hear somebody walking somewhere. All right, we need to pause here and we need to keep an eye out for the spawner particles. I'm not seeing them, so I'm going to move on. No, I'm not. I'm going to look for the spawner. I can't stop myself. I really can't. Hmm. 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 I really thought... 
there would be a spawner, blaze spawner under one of these. But there isn't. There's gotta be a skeleton spawner under that one though. Oh. Why did you... Why did you have so much force behind your bow, Blast? Hmm. No. Don't know where he is. Oh well. We'll proceed. Directly. Uh oh. We don't want to go in here yet. Oh, there was something. There was something. That was nice of you to show us that there. And it looks like this is the puzzle room. Yep. So we have some sort of symbols. Excuse me. Okay, this is beyond the puzzle room. So we'll block that off. And we'll deal with you guys. Just put up some safety nets there. Take that out. And take you out. And creeper spawner. It's a little bit inelegant to just leave your spawners laying around on the ground like that. In my opinion. It does have a classic Minecraftian feel, but... Alright. This is going to be... Oh, checkpoint. Those worthy may take two code fragments. Okay. I can match her tone. Does that mean anything? No. Okay, horizontal and vertical. Oh. Let's see if I can figure it out before I ask her. Horizontal, box, diamond, X. Diamond, box, triangle. Okay, I'm seeing all the pieces. But then there's some, ex there's some extras here. And these are vertical. So is this a game of dominoes? It is. It's a game of dominoes. How can you fit all of... Well... Ooh. Let's see. It looks... No, you can have two light colors touching. What is the rule oh. here? What is the rule? What is the rule? I guess it's just dominoes. What are all those shapes? This puzzle looks crazy. All I recognize is the button to show us where the code fragments are. I think this picture will help explain what to do. Yes. The left side contains horizontal sequences of shapes. The right side contains vertical sequences of shapes. We have to fit all those sequences into the middle grid. Okay, I actually could have told you that myself. <laughs> um... What sort of blocks... Okay, we're going to get rid of some of these bows here. And we'll put these up here for now. One, two, three, four. There are 16 of each. So I guess... Okay, the black don't get filled in. All right, so we have a vertical something there. So there's three options for size two verticals. We have a horizontal something there. Okay, so it either has to have a triangle or an X on the bottom, and then this is a three maybe? Or it could be a two. Wait. The thing I don't know... Okay, so this one here and these, it's not actually dominoes. 
It's this top left one and this top right one combined. Okay, so then what that means is <clears throat> I have to put a horizontal one here that's only two in length. So my only options are these. So that means that the leftmost square right here is either going to be a triangle or an X. And then if this is a three, which I think it has to be, that means that the it can only be one that has a an X or a triangle on the bottom. And there's not really... Okay, so I want to look for some type of pattern that would lock something in. And I'm not really seeing anything. No, I'm not. <clears throat> well... Geez, I guess I could almost start with anything then. Okay, here we go. Uh, so for the top left is a two-piecer. So the bottom piece is either going to be a triangle, a square, or a diamond. Those are the only ones that will fit there. Triangle, square, or diamond. And then going across is a three. So the leftmost block would have to be triangle, square, or diamond. And there's a lot of options for that. So that doesn't help me. Why did I think that was going to help me? Okay, in the middles. Mm. Okay, hmm. We're looking for something that is unique in all positions. Okay, the rightmost is either a triangle or an X. But that could be anything here. I'm looking for a place where there's a two and a two. And I'm not seeing any. Two and a three, a two and a two. Here we go, a two and a two. So something where the, so the bottom would be either triangle, square, or diamond. And the left would either be triangle, square, or diamond. So it can't be an X, it has to be a triangle. So this has to be triangle, triangle, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch that in the face. And that means that this also has to be triangle, triangle, based on that. Okay. Now, this has to be a three with a triangle at the top. So there's two options. This has to be a three with a triangle at the right. There are several options. And the option would either end with a square or a diamond in the top. Okay, there is one option for each of those. So going down, this would be a diamond or a triangle. So it's one of these two with either an X or a square at the bottom which would be the right, which there's two options there. Okay, so we're just going to have to go ahead and guess, I suppose. Hmm. There are plenty of options for either of those. Okay, a triangle, a diamond, or a square in the right. I uh, got multiple options for either of those. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing any any obvious. Uh, well, let's try this. I'm gonna try to use this one. And I think what I might do, uh, I think I'll go ahead and mark the ones I'm not positive of with this color blocking. So yellow, red, blue up here. I'm not positive of this. Oh, geez. 
And therefore, the yellow going down would be this one, yellow, purple, red. Yellow, purple, red, which puts a red in the middle. There's only one more option for that, which is purple, red, red. Purple, red, red. Uh, this one has a purple square on the far right. There's only one option for that, which is up here. Purple, triangle, purple. Now here's what we'll get to see if we're if we're right or not. Purple triangle purple. So is this purple triangle purple? Is there a triangle square something left? Yes, there is a triangle square square left. Okay. Is there a something square? Oh, keep going the wrong side. Yes, there is a square square. We'll put it. Uh, we'll put it to the right, I suppose. Square, square. So, so far this all fits. I might have guessed correctly. Uh, is there a two? Is there a two by two with a square on the right? No, there is not. So, that means all this is invalid. That means that's invalid. It means that's invalid which means this, okay, so I gotta roll all the way back to the place where I chose this one. And it's, it's not that one, it's this one up here then. I may have to, may have to do that. <clears throat> so let me fix this and I'll be right back.